Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to develop and run P4 programs uh, for Xilinx FPGAs on Coder. So first thing you're going to do is go to coder.nrp-nautilus.io. Uh, once you go in, it'll direct you to the workspaces. You'll create a new workspace from template and you will choose the ESNet FPGA experiments, the one with VNC, and you're going to create a new workspace. After you name it and you choose your preferences, it'll start. And I already created one over here. This is what it looks like once it's loading. And you can SSH into it or you can just click on terminal and you'll see a terminal window. And as you can see, it has a welcome message that displays all the options. Uh, as always, you can always head to the tutorial reference up there and uh, check out the tutorial to understand in detail how to do everything. Uh, this is just going to be a quick demo on how to develop and deploy. So once you log in in your home folder, you see there's the esnet-smartnic-hw folder and the esnet-smartnic-fw folder. So the HW one, which is the hardware design repository, it's the one you will be using to write and compile P4 programs. So once you CD into it, there's a directory called examples in it. And if you look inside it, it has various examples. In the scope of writing P4 programs, you're only interested in the P4 only one, which if you look inside it, there's also a folder called P4. And here you'll find your P4 logic. So if you display the P4 program, you'll see what it looks like. And here's your P4 program in detail. And of course, in the tutorial, we go deeper into the dissecting what the P4 program looks like. But basically, this is where you P4 is going to go in. So if you modify this file and add more P4 logic, you can have your P4 program in here. And then in the before only directory if you look at the files there you see the make file so the make file inside the make file you specify the board you're building for in this line over here so export board and the au55c tells it to compile for the 55c and you save and exit and now if you run the make file from here it compiles First thing before running the make file is you need to make sure that Vivado is loaded. And you do so by typing source tools silence Vivado. Make sure it's the 2023.1 version and settings 64.sh. And now all you need to do to compile the program is just type make and run it. And as you can see, a couple of minutes in and it's still compiling. This is a very lengthy process. It takes hours. It could take up to five hours and that's a normal time range. So don't be alarmed if it takes a lot of time. And as you can see, I suspended it here, but after it finishes, you'll see your artifacts and it looks like a zip file. As you can see, if we unzip it, this is what it looks like inside. This is what the inside of your compiled artifacts look like. And your compiled artifacts, that zip file, is what you were going to be using in later steps to load on the FPGA and test out your P4 behavior on your, your FPGA.